Hello everyone, Crud Frog, the man, myth, the legend, the person that you've been waiting for, for Christ's sake, all these months back in all my uh, overweight glory, um, here with a tutorial video on Dead Rising. Now, Dead Rising has just come back out after 10 years, um, almost exactly to the date it came out, 10 years. Uh, it came out, I think, August 8th, 2006, and then it came out again. August 10th, 2016, I think. those The dates might be wrong. Anyway, 10 years later, man. Very good game. Love this game. Today we're telling you how to get the goddamn Mega Man armor, okay? I don't want to waste you guys' time too much. So let's... God damn it, it's already been like almost a minute. So the, first we're going to go and get the readily available at the beginning of the game Mega Man helmet. This one's easy. This one is available right when you can get into the goddamn mall. Okay, guys, we're here in Paradise Plaza, right? This is the first area, you know, after you talk to everybody in the in the safe house, etc. Um, so we're going over to Colby's Movie Land, which is just right, you know, down here. Right down here. Here we are, guys, at Colby's Movie Land, okay? It doesn't take long to get here. Not hard, man. Right away, it's pretty exciting. So here is where we get the helmet. You just... Well, actually, two of the two of the things. Here is where we get the helmet. So the Mega Man helmet right there we've got on right now. Look how beautiful that is, man. Mega Man logo right on it. Capcom trademark. And the Mega Buster. You see this? Now, this is the fake-ass Mega Buster, okay? It just fires these balls out of it. It fires 30 at a time. It takes about maybe 12 to kill a zombie with it. Actually, I just killed him pretty quick. So th th those are the first two pieces of this outfit you can get right, right away, right at the beginning of the game. Let me talk about this Mega Buster right here, folks. This is the fake-ass one, like I said. Now, there's a real Mega Buster that you can get, which we'll talk about later in this video. But um, for now, we're going to talk about how to get the tights, okay? Now, to get the tights, I'm, I'm not going to show you because I've already done it, and, um, you know, it, it's easy enough to just tell you. So to get these tights, you're going to have to kill 10 psychopaths. So that basically requires you to beat the game, to beat um, at least 72 hour mode. So there's 12 psychopaths total, um, and you need to kill 10 of them. So guys, once you beat, beat at least 10 of those psychopaths, you'll get the Punisher achievement, and then you have to beat the game and get an ending to uh, be able to unlock the tights. You know, and then you'll start a new game and they'll be in the storeroom. We'll show you where they are. Okay guys, here's where the tights show up in the, in the storeroom behind the vent. So in this little bag here, once you start another game. So check that shit out. That looks pretty pimping, okay? We look like some kind of goddamn man that just came in the club and is ready to stick his thing where it doesn't belong. If you know, if I catch my drift. Now this next one is also me just telling you, um, to get the boots of the Mega Man outfit, you need to get the unbreakable achievement, and that's by getting the true ending, which is to, which is to beat the 72 hour mode and overtime mode, and get to, so that's basically the end of the game. And you can't be kidnapped in the process. There's two different people who can kidnap you. There's the, the, the eye cult, or the, you know, the cult, the raincoat cult, and special forces can kidnap you. You cannot let that happen, and if you get the ending, you can get these motherfucking boots right here. Look at that shit. I look like a even more of a pimp. Now, guys, the final important part of this outfit is the real Mega Buster. This is the real Mega Buster, okay? This is not the fake... Let me show you. Here's the fake-ass Mega Buster. You can see it has the Mega Man logo on it, kind of like cutesy. And then here is the real deal, this motherfucker. Now, this thing will spawn right here in the storeroom, and it'll have 300 rounds. It, um... And if you drop it outside of the storeroom and come back, it respawns. But you can't have more than one in your inventory at once. Now to get this thing, we're going to go over it. We're going to go over how to get this thing right now. Now guys, the real Mega Buster is technically available at the beginning of the game. So let's pretend right now it's the beginning of the game, okay? And I'm, I'm just getting into Paradise Plaza. I can come out into the courtyard and we can go into the underground car park right away, okay? So, what we need to do is go to the underground car park, and we need to kill 53,594 zombies of, in, and that, and it takes a few hours, okay? So, you may want to set aside a, and, and also you can't, 
beat the game while you're doing this. You can't unlock a, the true ending, but you can't. You can get an ending, but not the true ending, and you're not going to be able to, you know, do the main quest because the clock is going to run out really quick when you know it takes a few hours to do this. Okay, guys. So you saw where I went. Okay, you just go to this park, uh, this this area. Okay, there's there's a motorcycle and there's a red convertible. Now we're gonna drive this red convertible car down down underground here. Okay, and this is the way you kill fifty three thousand uh, five hundred and ninety four. God damn, son of a fucking bitch! Fi fifty three thousand five hundred ninety four zombies, guys. <clears throat> this is the best route, guys. This is the best way this is what i did and i thought it was the best of most of effective method all right now there's these motherfuckers down here holding these big explosive containers you're gonna want to i smashed into them some a lot of guides on the internet and people say that you shouldn't hit them because then your car will last longer which it will but those are also gonna blow up more zombies that you wouldn't have hit with your car so you total this motherfucking car and then you come over to this big ass truck now this truck is pretty strong. It's way stronger than that car. It lasts a lot longer. This truck will respawn when you leave the area. So this is the route that I took, guys. Let me show you. You go down here, and this video is going to be a lot longer than I thought. Like I thought, like oh, it'll make me take me two minutes. Nope. You know, it's kind of you know in depth when you want to get this whole outfit, guys. So just stick it out, and you know you'll you'll be a G in no time. So you come this whole way down here, you keep smacking all these motherfuckers. You're going to um, loop, do a loop here. D Stop fucking calling. Otis is so goddamn annoying throughout this game. He calls you so many times. He calls you more times than your ex-girlfriend waiting, trying to get child support for the baby. And you're like, I didn't marry you, bitch. I didn't, I didn't want the fucking child anyways. And she's like, I don't care. I want money because I'm a woman. You're like, fuck off. All right, sorry guys, it went off on a tangent. So now this car is pretty totaled, right? I um oh I over you know what I fucked up. I really wanted to um what did I want to do? I I got I went too far. All right guys, I apologize for that. What you really wanted to do was take this left. I missed this left, and this is what you wanted to do. You want to go back out. Um I just I overshot this left because I was angry about you know talking about that whole X. Let's just not talk about it. But, um, so I went, you go up here, and you're gonna come out and get the red car again. And you're gonna do that same thing over and over again until that number in the bottom right corner is at 53,594. This takes, it takes a few hours, but if, let me give you some tips, okay? If you stick on some music, like an album, or, you know, I had the same song blaring in my ears for, like, however many hours it took me to do it. But that's just because I'm a nutball and I can sit there listening to the same exact song over and over again. So this is an effective method, is doing this. Is That's why the red convertible is um, really handy for, you know, taking this chunk of zombies out right here, guys. So, anyway, once you're done with all of that, guys, that's going to take you a little while. You're going to get this real Mega Buster, like I, like I said. And check this thing out. It owns every zombie in one hit. Guys, it's going to kill every psychopath in a few hits. It's going to, you know, basically... You're gonna shit on the house and take names throughout this entire game. And, you know, you can have it in overtime mode. I think you might be, I don't know if you can have it in uh, infinity mode, guys. But there was my painfully convoluted and disjointed way to get this Mega Man outfit looking like a pimp who came and stole the show and then had to return it because it was only that damn goddamn five day rental. Get the fuck away. See, this is cool. All you gotta do, you can even sit here and it auto-targets. I think this is the only weapon that auto-targets in the game. Guys, there you go. Thanks a lot for watching. I rambled the shit out of this video, but case closed. Mega Man Pimp. Okay. Dead Rising will never die. Dead Rising 2 coming out for next gen as well. Very excited. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Subscribe to see more videos like this. Give the video a like. Also, you know, call your folks every once and again. It doesn't hurt. Thanks a lot.